Hello there, Libra. Welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful that you're here today. I'm Mary Sue, and we're going to be doing your June a love reading. So this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if you, you know, the message is not resonating with you, I do suggest that you look at your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign to see if there's a message there for you. And, um, if you are enjoying the content that I create or this reading, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, or subscribe. So today we're going to take a look at the overall energy in your past, present, and future love life. And then we'll go ahead and use the tarot to get some more details. Oh, so in the past you have victory. Okay, so the victory card to me in this case, it's, it's a lot like the six of wands. It's like you have overcome something. So you may have overcome, you know, a broken, uh, you know, a relationship that ended or you may have overcome conflict within a relationship that you're still in. Um, but this is kind of coming into a sense of overcoming something. It can also be overcoming something else in your life that was affecting your love life. So, you know, um, say you were out of work or, you know, um, you were having financial difficulties or something like that. Like that would really kind of play into your love life, right? Um, so this is like overcoming that. For some of you, um, my angels are saying that, you know, overcoming like a physical um, illness or situation, health issue of some sort, um, and for some of you, perhaps even, you know, an addiction, and it could be if you're still in a couple um, that, you know, your partner maybe um, has overcome like an addiction or a health issue, something like that. Okay, so now we'll take a look at your present. We're going to clarify all of these. So we'll, we'll get some more details about your victory, but that's a great start. Okay, present is patience. Yeah, so... You know, for some of you, I think that you may have come, you may have had, um, you know, a, a situation, you know, like a past love or something like that, something that you've come into alignment, you've gained victory into alignment, but you may be having to have patience with somebody that you're dealing with or have patience for a new love to come in onto your path. Um, and I love this card because, you know, it really does to me speak that the divine is working in this relationship, whether it's, you know, someone from the past that you've separated from or you're in a connection and, you know, you need um, the divine is helping your connection or if you are separated and you're not reconciling that, you know, you just have to have patience because your, your soulmate's on the way. It's just that, you know, they're not quite yet in alignment with you. With the victory card, I feel like you're the one that's in alignment and maybe somebody else isn't. Okay, so attachment, and it is reversed. And I don't normally read reversals, but this is so unusual for it to be reversed. So, this is a sign of, you know, codependency, being um, super attached to uh, someone or attached to, once again, like an addiction. I don't know why that keeps coming up, but being overly attached to something. Now, it's in reverse. So that means whatever this attachment or codependency was, that situation is over. So it's kind of interesting because what we have here is, you know, you may have, we're going to clarify this, but for some of you, this could mean that someone from the past may be coming back. Um, but there is some victory here. You have overcome something, definitely. And it could be that you've just healed from a past connection or you, you know, you've healed a, a health issue or something, but I feel like this is more of like kind of a situation where you had to work on um, healing, you know, like childhood wounds or doing some soul growth, spiritual awakening, you know, personal growth, that type of thing. Like you did the work, you, the victory card means you've done the work, you've overcome something, right? 
and you've had to have some patience. I feel like for some of you, you've had like a spiritual awakening of some sort. And now that you, and now because of that, you understand that you just have to have patience and allow your spirit guides to kind of do their work behind the scenes. And in the meantime, someone else is becoming detached from something. So this could be your person in the past, especially if you're separated from them or the person that you're in a relationship with, that they're becoming detached from something, from some codependency or perhaps from an addiction or they're also overcoming a health issue or financial issue or something. They're in, they're working on trying to reach the same level that you have. So what I'm really getting um, is a sense that right now you're not in alignment and you will come into alignment, but it is taking a little patience. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, Libra, let's take a look at your past energy with the romance um, angel cards and, and try to figure out what... Um, you know, maybe what you've become victorious with or where this is leading. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, once again, I'm just really, I don't know exactly why. I think it's because of the patience card. I'm getting a sense that you are seeing the bigger picture. Like you have gotten into this energy of seeing the bigger picture about either this connection or about love connections in general um and you know in the past if you're single and you've been single for a while and you don't think that this has anything you're not resonating with this being a past connection um i think that what you're doing is in the past you may have not stayed in a connection like um you know like if conflict came in you may have been easily ready to move on to a new person or something like that. Um, but now you're kind of realizing that it's worth, you've kind of done work on yourself. So you realize that when conflict arises, it doesn't mean you have to end the relationship, that you're willing to stay and kind of work on it, right? So I feel like this victory is kind of like you coming into this new awareness about um, love in general, love relationships, per, you know, the per, your perception, um, your beliefs around love in general. Now, if you feel like, you know, there's this inkling that there could be somebody from the past that's still kind of like in your energy field or could come back or something like that. Like in the past, you really did really try to give this connection a big try like you may have in some ways stayed longer than you should have but you've kind of gotten over that like you're not being resentful about that really interesting um I do feel like for a lot of you this is like a, a you know a definitely a soul partner twin flame perhaps even type energy all right so let's see what you have in the present now heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other Okay, I really feel like there, there is someone from the past coming back and they want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Um, you know, and you have, you know, you, you may feel like, okay, I'm at this point where I can work on this or at least have this conversation with you. And I feel like you've had patience with this. Like you may have wanted to have this discussion, um, even a discussion of closure with this person for some time. And you've had to have a lot of patience waiting for this energy to come or this person to come back from the past. Now, if you're single and you're like, you know, this, it, uh, there's no one from the past, that type of thing, it is talking about how you have come into alignment to realize once again that you need to, you know, kind of put your heart out there. You may have been a person that um, in the past uh, was m perhaps a little bit closed off because you were not quite yet ready to share 
yourself with the world, right? And sometimes that's, you know, because of, of painful things you know, in past relationships or whatever. But it is about if you have somebody new coming in on your path and you've waited patiently for this person to come in, that when they come in, you go into this relationship with an open heart and, you know, not um, allowing, you know, hurt feelings or baggage to come um, from the past, you know, like not taking that along with you. And I don't think you will. I think you've come into a really good sense of balance, you know, and the patience card, you know, it's not really the justice card, right? But it is, you know, that sense of balance. And that's what you are, Libra, right? You have a great sense of balance. You're looking for balance, right? You want to have heart to heart conversations with somebody else. And you want to share your heart, but you also want them to share yours. And I'm getting that message that maybe in the past, someone that you were connected with didn't necessarily share their heart. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have in the future. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah. So I think for some of you, you have detached yourself from someone in the past. Like, You've ended, you may have ended that for a while ago. You may have been separated, but, you know, energetically, you were not yet detached. And now I think you are and you're ready to go out there and flirt, right? Bring in the new love. Uh, really high energy here, you know. Um, and if you're still in a connection with somebody and this connection is going to continue, then I think that this is... Um, this is a good indication that your relationship is going to become more playful. And to go ahead and put yourself out there, you know, just, you know, be really playful with your, your partner and allow um, this, like, kind of new stage in, in your relationship to start. Okay, really nice energy here, Libra. So let's go ahead and see what the good um, Tarot has to say. We'll go ahead and clarify each of these. So in the past, you have Queen, Queen of Earth. Yeah, this is a really nice, this is definitely your, um, your energy. The Queen of Earth is someone that, you know, you got really victorious in your energy of grounding yourself, doing what's good for you. The Queen of Earth is independent. She doesn't mind if she's single, you know, um, and gender doesn't matter. But it's that energy of, you know, I am really good. I have built a life for myself that I really like. And it's also a nurturing energy. And I think that, you know, give your relationship a chance. Some of this was giving yourself a chance. Like, it may have taken you a little time to get to this part. And that's why the victory card is here. Like, it was kind of a long go for you. And especially if you had been single for a long time or something like that, it's kind of like this energy of, you know, kind of going up the mountain. And it's been kind of a long mountain. But now you are in this energy of being at the summit, being at the top, looking at the world in a new perspective because you are at the top and willing to give people and relationships a chance. Really spectacular energy there. Okay, so let's see what we have in the present. What do we have here? Six of Earth, yes. So, you know, I really feel like you really, this is a lot of balance. I feel like for some of you, you are having um, a new look at a relationship that you're already in, if you feel like this is a committed re relationship. And if you are having a new, starting a new relationship, um, it is really going to be super balanced. Look at this, heart to heart, like that's balanced, right? Heart to and heart, right? It's very balanced word-wise and meaning-wise. And then patience, you know, the temperance, very balanced. Six of earth is very balanced. A lot of give and take. And I think that you and whoever you are in a connection with um, it, are in this energy. And even if this person isn't in your life yet, to me, it means that you are you are in so much balance internally, you know, you've done the work, you are balanced. 
uh, so well that you are going to attract someone that's balanced. Like you have put away any, um, you have overcome, you have done the work to overcome any codependency issues that you may have had in the past. And, you know, a lot of us have these, so it's not, you know, um, it's very common, right? But like attachments that you have had in the past, you have really worked on those and you and the person that you're either in a connection with or are attracting um, are very balanced. And so in the future, this is really nice. Your new relationship or this relationship that you're continuing to work on is not going to have these issues. You know, the codependency is going to be gone. If there's any kind of addictions or anything like that, it's all gone. It's like you've, you've done the work either as a couple or as an individual to get to that. And so now your connection is going to be playful, you know, whereas before when you have a lot of, you know, when you have a lot of attachment, a lot of codependency, you know, there can be mind games and that type of thing. That's not fun, right? It really isn't. A lot of turmoil there. So uh, really nice energy. Okay, so let's see what we have for the future here. Messenger of fire. Okay, so yeah, this is, you know, I think for a lot of you, this, you're going to either have a spark in an existing relationship that you have now, or you're going to have this spark in a new relationship. This is a lot of passion. You know, you got the flirt card here. It's like, yeah, there's going to be flirty passion in this relationship. And it's going to reignite. You know, it's kind of like, I love this too, because, you know, she has a crown on. And then the crown has all of these candles. It's kind of like, a reigniting of yourself. I really feel like it's of yourself, like your passions. Like, you know, this is like very balanced, but it's not like playful. I love the fact that you you are getting balanced, right? You are definitely getting balanced, but then you're bringing in the fun. And I really get that sense that you're really passionate about life again, about love again. Like it just reignites you and you just really playful. And whether, once again, whether you stay in a connection or this is a new connection coming in, um, it is just kind of like passion. <laughs> it is a really nice energy. It's really nice. And I think the progression is nice and it works really well whether you are, you know, single right now or you are in a connection is that you've overcome something from the past or something in your connection. You've gotten really balanced, you know. So you were unbalanced but you worked on getting balanced. Now you're totally balanced, like you're in alignment. You're in alignment either with the person that you're with or with a new person coming in. And then you get to play, right? It's kind of like, you know, that energy of do the work and then you can go play, you know, like your parents may have said that, well, you have to do your homework first and then you can go play or, or whatever, right? It's kind of like that. Like, you know, you may have even gone into therapy with someone in the past, like, you know, or counseling, some, something like that. Like, um, you know, you've done the work. I really get the sense that you've done the work and now you get the rewards. You get to go play. You get to have fun, Libra. I love it. So let's look at the creativity oracle cards and see what we have here. I am just getting all these new cards and I've had this deck for quite a while. Um, but these are just like new cards that I didn't even know were in this, um, in this deck, which I love. All right, limits. Knowing that limiting attitudes are often formed as protective reactions to past events. Yeah, and I think that that is part of this attachment. I think part of whatever went on in your connection before or in past connections, it was kind of like, you know, a belief system, something that limited you and you really have done the work. And for some of you, you may have, you know, left a connection and really worked on yourself, really um, worked on your finances, maybe even started, you know, a, a new career, a new job, moved cities, 
you know, you really kind of did a lot of work. I feel like this is like an energy of putting in a lot of time and effort into yourself, right? Into yourself. And you're feeling really good about it. Like you're kind of like, yeah, look at, look at what I did, right? And you should, you really should, because I do get the sense, but I think you've overcome that. And one of the things to move on, like when you're moving into a new relationship or perhaps, you know, working on this connection that you're in is just to remember that sometimes, you know, things can come up that can trigger us and, you know, we flash back to the past, um, but you've learned the lessons, you know, you really learned the soul lessons that you needed to learn and you are like a different person, right? You've detached, okay, my guys are saying you've detached from like kind of the person that you were in the past, if that makes sense. You you are somewhat new or will soon be fiery and passionate again. So really nice energy, Libra. I'm really excited for you. Okay, so let's look at your love oracle card. All right, so there's the artwork. I love the artwork on these. Power, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. And you know, once again, I'm gonna come back to this attachment card because in the past you may have, either with a connection that you're in now or in a past connection, you may have felt like you didn't have the power. It was unbalanced. Whatever occurred in the past was unbalanced. And you feel like, you know, you didn't have any power, so you couldn't walk away. And perhaps the person you were with, you know, had the financial strings of the relationship or, you know, something else. There was some kind of power struggle within your relationship, right? Because that's what codependency is. There, there was some power struggle, but you have totally overcome that, right? And now you have the power and to say no or to walk away at any time. Like you've come into this really balanced energy and you know that you deserve a balanced energy. And it's kind of like, if it's not balanced, you know, you may give it a chance, but it's kind of like you're not giving it two or three chances, right? I mean, you're going to be like, no, I can walk away from this because you know now that you can build a life by yourself, that you can be independent, financially stable, you know, emotionally, mentally, health and physically, you know, you can bring that stability to yourself that you don't have to rely on somebody else and because now you have that power you're going to step into your relationships in a different way and once again whether you're staying in the same relationship or you're starting a new relationship and it's sparking a, fi a fire within you you're kind of like wow I can do it I can do it by myself and it just it gives you this extra confidence you know um, a lot of confidence that when you are dealing with other people that you, um, you're coming to the table, right? And you're coming, you're bringing your game, right? <laughs> so uh, really lovely energy. Okay, so let's look at the love, um, the angel messages to finish this out. And once again, if you've enjoyed this reading, I'd really like for, um, I really would appreciate it if you would like, share, or subscribe. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I love this message. Libra is so perfect with this. Courage, dare to be different, to make mistakes, create for it is in creation that you exist. In this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself. For it, owns, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. And the reason I really love that coming back to this attachment, right? Is that in the past, you may have felt like you were in unbalanced relationships and you could not be true to you. And for whatever reason, whether you're staying in this connection or you walked away from connection, however that resonates for you, you at some point said, yes, I am going to be victorious and to do what is good for me. And that's what you did, which brought you into balance. And it's like, 
just know that strength, know that power that you now have within you. Um, and dare, dare to be different, right? Dare to um, make mistakes. Like you may have felt in the past, like you couldn't make a mistake because your relationship was unbalanced and somebody else held, had the power. So you may have felt like you had to like toe the line, you know, walk that tightrope, walk on eggshells, that type of thing that you may have felt in a codependent relationship. But now you see that that's not what you want in your life and that you have the power and the strength to walk away from people that, you know, are trying to put you into that type of a relationship or that type of power play. Really, really nice energy, Libra. And, you know, I feel like once again, it's been kind of a long journey for you, but you are victorious. I love this energy. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. And I do wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. Bye for now, Libra.